Welcome to Marketecture, where you can get smart fast with in-depth interviews of leading technology vendors. I'm Brian Barletta of Sounds Profitable, and I'm here with Tony Simmons, CEO of Sonnet. Welcome to the podcast, Tony. Thanks, Brian. So let's break down exactly what your product does. So we talked about how it's audio focused. It takes audio. Transcription's the core of it. Yeah. So look, I think, you know, the, the way that the platform works is there's probably four key areas that we work with our customers to uh, generate extra revenue and, and save time and money. And so transcription is the core of it, and that unlocks an understanding of what's in the content. But then there's a lot of other AI modules that work in parallel uh, on top of that transcription to generate a really good understanding of a long form piece of content. And then the first thing is, you know, ad markers. We, we talk about our smart ad markers. Where is the best place that we can put an ad marker and not have to rely on an ad ops person doing that manually? So you get a, a time saving because the system's incredibly uh, smart and it can understand uh, who's the host, who's a guest, what's the question, has the topic changed, where's a good gap, is there a jingle, non-verbal cues, and essentially go, these are great places to place an ad. They're going to be seamless for dynamic insertion. And each marker then is tagged with not only this is a good place, but it's got all its brand safety information, brand suitability information, and any other tags that are relevant to that marker. So smart ad markers work on definitely saving time across your ad ops team, but also being able to say to the advertisers, hey, look how good this place is for you to be advertising. And what we found is our customers can get a, a premium CPM rate when they say we're going to be contextually aligning your brand and your advertising with our content. So that's the first key area. And, and I like that. I mean, the uh, the ad markers thing is really interesting for, for people who don't know. In podcasting, right, you're taking the content and for dynamically inserted ads, where you're, you're setting a marker where to break things up in the content. So the producer could create holes in the content to, to do that, usually spaces between segments. But you may decide to add more ads in later into the process. And so using that UI tool, you add those in manually. This is talking about identifying the difference between just a long pause and really a segment break, uh, the the jingle cues, and there's so many other things that you could cue off of making that process easier instead of manually listening to the episode, scrubbing through it, looking for that spot and selecting it, using this to kind of give you insight into where to place it. Yeah, that's exactly right. And for publishers, you know, if they bring on a new show and it's got, you know, hundreds of older episodes or, you know, a really big catalog, the ability to be in market with all of these mid-rolls tomorrow rather than having to wait for a team to, to do that manual process means that they can start paying back that show in 24, 48 hours, as opposed to however long it takes their team to go through and put all these markers in. So speed to market, uh, getting the, the, the money flywheel moving really rapidly uh, means that you get a really good payback on your, on your content. Thanks for listening. To hear the complete interview, subscribe at architecture.tv. 